Olama has recently launched a tool support for some of its model, including Llama 3.1. We would be able to complete more complex tasks using open source models, such as calling functions, API, web browsing, code interpreter, and much more. They had also given a sample code over here in Olama's native API. And they have also listed out some of their models which are going to support this particular functionality. Now, what we are going to do in this video. So in this video, we are going to create an application using Olama and Llama index. Using this application, we will try to interact with external API. So whenever a user is going to ask a specific question, Olama, this tool support is going to invoke that API, will get a response from that API and then pass it to a user. So as part of this video, we are mainly going to focus on three things. First thing is going to be how to call external API using this Olama tool support and Llama index, how to make a parallel functions call and how we can make this Olama models to run faster on our local. So with this in mind, first of all, we are going to get access of this external weather API. And for that, we are going to use this weather API. In this weather API, you can see the base URL is going to be this. And after that, like if you want to get a current weather, then there is a specific method over here to provide us weather details. And you can see from pricing perspective also, it's going to be free per month for 1 million calls. So as soon as you register and log into your portal, it's going to give you this particular API key. We can just copy paste this API key and utilize it in our application. So first thing what we are going to do is creating this .env file and going to put our weather API key over here. And then to retrieve that API key, we are going to use this .env package. And under this .env package, we are going to use this particular method to load the environment variable. And then just to retrieve a key out of that, we are going to use this particular method. And then we are going to assign it to API key. Now, once we have a API key, we are going to define our functions over here. And the one input parameter which we are passing over here is going to be city. The idea is like as soon as you pass a city name, it should be able to give you city temperature details. Now we are going to use the same URL which we have just seen. So this is going to be base URL. And after that, we are going to pass current JSON as mentioned in the document. And after that, we just have to pass two things. One is going to be your key, what we have retrieved just now and then input parameter, which is going to be city in this case. Once you pass all this parameter, after that, we have to hit this URL. And for that, we are going to use this request package over here, request.get. And to enable this request, we are going to import this particular package at the top. After that, once we get a response, we are just printing it in the JSON format. We can just run it and show you what exactly are we getting over here. I can just take this function, put it over here, and I can just pass a city name. So this is going to be Delhi. And I will just go ahead and run this code. You can see we have got all these details. So here we do have the location, name, latitude, longitude, then the temperature, temperature in Celsius, and then the temperature in Fahrenheit. And after that, there are certain parameters as well. So we are getting like all these details over here just by passing a city name. Now this is going to cover this part of our code where we have written a function and this particular function is going to call the external weather API. And from here, actually out of all this data, we are just going to retrieve the temperature details for the city and you can see the temperature detail is over here. So we have to navigate to this particular section coming under the current section. So from data, then we are going to current, then we are actually going to this particular variable over here. Now what we need to do is create a code where we can call this function using Olama models. For that, what we need to do, like we have to create a file first. I am just going to call it Llama Olama. So before we start writing this code, I would suggest you to go to this particular video what we have in our channel. This is isn't series part one. It would give you a basic understanding of how you can convert a normal function into a tool using Llama index. And same thing we have to apply over here. So we need to convert this particular method into a tool. And for that, there is a specific package in Llama index. So we are going to use that Llama index dot core dot tools. And we are going to import function tool. And this function tool is going to help us to convert our custom method as a tool. And the second package, what we have to import import is agent and for that we are going to use core dot agent and then we have to import our agents here and for that we can either import react 
agent, function calling agent worker, both are going to work. In this particular demo, we are going to use react agent over here. And then we have to import some basic packages, llama index.core. And then we have to import settings to set up our LLM. And then because we are going to utilize Olama model over here. So we have to import Olama as well. That would come from this particular package. We are going to set it up our LLM. So we are going to initialize our LLM. And then the first thing what we have to call is settings.llm. And then we have imported our Olama. So we are going to call that. And under this, we have to pass our model detail. We know Llama 3.1 is is the latest model and we are getting tool support in that model we are going to call that model so this is going to be llama 3.1 and then we have to pass our request timeout parameter because these models are running on our local and it may take some time to generate a response so i will just put it as 300 over here and after that we have to convert our method to a function tool and for that we are going to utilize this function tool we are going to call from defaults and under this you can see the first thing we have to pass is our function and this is in the weather.py file so i'm just going to import it from here i'm just going to call get current weather i can just pass this function and this I can just call it as a weather tool. The second thing what we have to do is call our agent in this case. So I'm just going to call our agent with the given tool. For that, we are using the react agent. So I'm just going to call that. I'm just going to call it from tools. And as soon as you call it, you can see here we can pass tools as a list. I'm just going to pass it inside a list. This is going to be weather tool. And I'm just going to put verbose equal to true so that I can just see what this agent is thinking and how the response is getting generated. I'm just going to call it agent. And after that, we just have to get a response out of it. Agent dot. And then I can just pass a query and I can ask my question over here. So I'm just going to ask like, what's the temperature in Delhi? And you can either pass what's the temperature or what's the weather in Delhi. And then I'm just going to print this response now here you can see like we have converted a custom function which is calling external api into a tool and then after converting into a tool we are passing it to a agent and then we are asking our questions to this agent and this agent now will have access to this particular tool to generate a reply for us. Now, let me just go ahead and try to call this. And because this is open source model, so it, it's definitely going to take some time to generate a response. So here you can see the step has been started, a running step, and it's saying like, what's the temperature in Delhi? And now we have to wait for uh, the response to be generated. So in this video, we are not going to cover how to set up Olama on your local system. So if you want to get that information, then we do have another video in our playlist. You can just check it out over here. So in this video, we have just covered how to set up Olama and Grok on your system, how to call it and how to utilize the models. You can probably just follow this video because you need to troll Olama and you need to have a certain models fetched before actually we can start and utilizing those models in our application. Now let's go back to our output and it is still processing it took around four to five minutes to generate this kind of a response but because we have kept this verbose equal to true so we can see what this particular agent was thinking in this case you can see the agent actually was calling this get current weather and this was having input of city and delhi so we have passed our function as a tool over here so it has utilized it and after that based on our query it has taken this delhi as a city name and thus pass it to this particular functions to generate a response like this so we were able to call external api via olama models but it is taking around four to five minutes to generate this kind of response so on our local we are running this llama 3.18b version so i have downloaded it and i'm utilizing it but just to make it run faster now we are going to use these models offered by grow cloud and we can significantly reduce the response time what we are getting as of now here you can see they have enabled like few of the models 405b model we cannot run it because it's only available for the paying customer but we can eventually call 3.170b model as well from our local using grow cloud as i have already shown you guys like if you want to get started with grow cloud then you can refer the video which i have just shown over here like this video here actually we have just covered how to set up a key and 
and all those things for Guru Cloud. In this video, we are just going to leverage the models offered by this. So in this case, what I'm doing, I'm going to call this 70B model, which is not possible for me to call like if I'm trying to download this particular model on my system, then it won't be possible because I don't have that RAM capacity to run this larger models. But using Grow Cloud, I can just go ahead and call this models directly. I just have to pass my Grow KPI key. So to do that, what I can do in this case, so instead of calling Llama 3.1 via Olama, I can call it via Grow. So I have to import another package for that. Yeah, I have imported Grow package now. And instead of setting my LLM like this, I need to just comment it out. And then I have to set up Grok as my LLM. So I'm just going to call that. So in this also we have to pass our model. So I'm just going to pass our model. And this is what we actually we have taken from the documentation. And then we have to pass our API key. I can just get this key from my environment file. And for that, I'm just going to use the same method which we have used in weather API. So I'm just going to load my environment variable. Then I'm just going to define a variable. And here I'm just going to call this particular method to get my key. And under this, I have to pass grow API key and I have to import OS package as well. So with this, I can just pass my API key over here and I'm just going to ask same question again and let's wait for output to be generated. Last time it took around four to five minutes to generate this response. This time I'm hoping it's going to be way faster than that. And you can see we have got the output. You can see the difference what we are getting via using the same models which are offered by grow. So the next thing what we are going to try instead of calling one particular functions, we will give this agent an option to call multiple functions. To enable it, we are going to go to our weather.py file and here we are going to divide this function into two parts. One is where actually we are going to temperature in Celsius and the other is where actually we are going to get the temperature in the Fahrenheit. So I'm just going to copy paste this and just put it over here. I can just remove this and here I can just convert it to Fahrenheit and same thing I can mention over here. We also need to provide all this kind of doc string because it would help agent to identify like which particular function it has to call. This is not optional. This is something that we need to provide it. If you feel or your agent is not able to call the correct functions, then the first thing what we need to do is come in the function and improve your doc string, whatever you have mentioned. So here what I'm going to say like useful for getting weather for a city. So I will just put over here. I will just say same thing. Then I have to modify these functions as well. And here I can just say the temperature in Fahrenheit. Now my doc string is reserved for this. Another change what I need to do is instead of calling this key, I need to call now this particular key Fahrenheit. And that's it. Now actually we do have these two methods. What I need to do then. So as of now actually we have created only one tool. I need to create another tool as well because we do have another custom function. So I need to convert that in tool as well. This is going to be first function. This is going to be second function. Same modification I have to do over here. And then I can just copy paste it and I can create another tool and this is going to be in foreign night. Now I do have two tools created and same thing actually I need to pass over here and I can just pass another tool as well. Now I can just ask what is the temperature in Delhi in Celsius and then we can just go ahead and try to run this code and you can see like it has been started and I'm getting a temperature. The current temperature in Delhi is 20, 20.8. 20 and let me just ask, what do we have in Fahrenheit? So in this case, you can see it is calling this particular function, get current weather C, which we have defined over here. So it's ultimately calling this particular tool because we are going to ask a temperature in Fahrenheit. So instead of calling this particular function, it should be calling this Fahrenheit function. And our doc string is going to let the agent tool which particular function has to call. It has called this particular function. We are able to get a response. Now, now one thing what we have to do is like we are calling this function one by one, right? But based on the user query, this particular agent has the capability to call these two functions in parallel and how we can test it out. So what I'm going to ask, like what's the temperature in Delhi in Fahrenheit and in Celsius? So I can just convert it and I can just try to run this. In this case, we are able to get a response and under the hood, so it has called this get current weather F and then it has called this get current weather C as well. Here actually it has also mentioned which tool it is utilizing to achieve the same. So this is how we can invoke the parallel function call as well using open source model in Llama index. So that's all what we have in this video. Thank you for watching.